Here's your field. Number one is Bashoot, owned by Urban Miller Incorporated. With Springfield Irv trains Irv Miller in the bike tonight. Number two is Trotton Connection, owned by Merrill and Cheryl Allen of Camden. Merrill Allen trains Allen Bowen will drive. Three is True Inspiration, owned by Daniel and Geraldine Rowland of Grinnell, Iowa. Bob Newman trains and will drive. Number four is Heather Doreen, owned by the Duncan Foundry and Machine Works of Alton, Illinois. John Cisna trains. Tim Bredberg will drive. And number five is Baldic Sorcerer, owned by Art Kellerman, Jr. of Camp Ron. And uh, T. Kellerman of Fontana, Wisconsin. Anthony T Kellerman, Jr. trains, and Mike Rogers will drive in that historic mile back in 1966 with A.J. Mack. The trotting track record prior to that was only 2.7, so it was two and a fifth of a second reduced that day by Les Redshaw. I was 13 years old, but remember it well. Here's the field for race number five, free for all trotters in the Harvey Bowen Senior Memorial. Here they come. Bashoots made a break. Heather Doreen and Tim Bredberg trot out and get the lead. They lead into the first turn by a length and a half, uh, trotting a second now is a Baltic Sorcerer. Racing third is Trotten Connection. True Inspiration is fourth for Newman and Bashoots at the back. Off the eighth, they head up the back stretch towards the quarter mile marker. And uh, Tim uh, Bredberg leads by three parts of a length with Heather Doreen. Baltic Sorcerer, the eight-year-old gelding, the senior in this field, is now only a head back as we trot past the quarter-mile marker into the upper turn. First quarter was in 31 and three-fifths of a second. And now Baltic Sorcerer has made the front for Mike Rogers. Heather Doreen will set second for Tim Bredberg. And True Inspiration moves from fourth to take over third at the head of the stretch the first time. Baltic Sorcerer, eight-year-old son of Baltic Speed, leads by a length and a half. Heather Doreen is right there second. True Inspiration is now a closer third, followed a fourth by Trotten Connection and Bashoot past the half in 102 and two-fifths of a second. Off the half in 102 and two, we trot into the lower turn. Baltic Sorcerer by a length. There goes True Inspiration up on the outside to take over second. Heather Doreen is right there third. Trotting Connections a little closer fourth and Bashoot as we trot towards the three-quarter mile marker. On the inside, Baltic Sorcerer. On the outside, True Inspiration now puts a head in front. Quarter of a mile to trot. It's True Inspiration now by a half a length. Three quarters in 133 and four. Heather Doreen is being brought up nicely by Tim Bredberg. She's back in contention. Is going to have to sweep three wide now, and she does just that. True Inspiration has made the front, but here comes Heather Doreen. We're at the head of the stretch. True Inspiration between trotters. Heather Doreen on the outside. Heather Doreen is trotting right on by, doing a big mile here. This mare prefers the mile track. Big win here for Tim Bredberg. Heather Doreen home by five tight for second. Ed, while we have a moment, while the inquiry is pending, let's talk to the man that trains Heather Doreen. That man is John Cisna, who's standing to my left. John bases his stable at the Illinois State Fairgrounds, where he's trained for a number of years. John, originally from Gladstone, Illinois. Where is Gladstone, John? Right across the river from Burlington, Iowa. Gotcha. Thought it was pretty close to the Iowa border. John, we've talked a lot about the Illinois State Fair this uh, week here at the Brown County Fair. You've trained state fair winners, you've owned state fair champions, and you've driven them. I want to take you back a little bit. Around 1959, do you remember a two-year-old pacer named Hark Wynn? Certainly do. He certainly was a horse that I owned with junior winners and Dr. Henley from Jacksonville, Illinois. And we were certainly, uh, he was a gift to us, and we were sure appreciate getting to race him here at the county fair. We raced him right here at, at Mount Sterling. Raced him here at Mount Sterling, went to Springfield, won the state fair championship. You were the driver. How old were you? I was kind of young back in those days. <laughs> God, you're kind of dodging the issue, aren't you? One more question for you. I've heard the story. Is it true that part of the winnings in 1959 with Hark Wynn might have gone to a very special and personal gift for a very special lady? Yes, it sure did. That was John's, John's wife, Gloria. And I just learned the other day when John won that state fair championship, and I think he was somewhere in the neighborhood of around 21 years of age, he used part of the winnings to buy his wife, Gloria, an engagement ring, and they have lived happily ever after. John, would you do us a favor and tell Gloria we said hello? Certainly will. I know. She, sorry she couldn't make it tonight. John Sisner, our winning trainer, ladies and gentlemen. Ed, back to you. Thank you, Kurt. If are now official, and there is a placing. There is a disqualification and a placing. 
Number one, Bashut finished fifth. Number two, Trotton Connection was fourth. Number three, True Inspiration finished second, has been placed third due to failure to lose ground on a break. So True Inspiration finished second, has been placed third. Number four, Heather Doreen was the winner. Number five, Baltic Sorcerer finished third, has been placed second. First quarter was in 31 and three. The half in 102 and two. Three quarters in 133 and four. The mile was in 203 and three fifths. Fifth race checks down from the top, 5-4, 3-1, 2 on the bottom, 2 3 and 3 for the mile. 